Good morning, everybody. This is Bill Feely with MSATP TV. Joining us today is Michael Ashley with Registered Agents. Uh, Michael is going to tell us the reason why you have to have a registered agent and what are the benefits of using his company over some of this competition. Um, so, Michael, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and registered agents? Sure. Um, yeah, our company's registered agents legal services. We've been in business uh, 22 years now, I think 1999, um, when we started up. And uh, I've been been with the, doing the MSATP uh, seminars and being a corporate sponsor for you know close to 20 years now. And uh, basically, to your question. Um, you know, by law, if you're doing business in any state, um, you have to have a registered, or in Maryland calls it a resident agent. And that's really the purpose is if there's any legal documents, uh, service of process, you get sued, um, that, that company, uh, you know, whoever's suing you has the right to sue within the state you're doing business. So they, they serve the papers. Uh, many states, the registered agents are required to have um, a, a physical office for tax reports. Now, Maryland's different. You can send that tax, $300 personal property tax, wherever you want. Um, but in many states, it has to come through the registered or registered agent office, and we forward that on that behalf. So um, sometimes people don't want to have process servers or don't have a responsible person that's always there or the business is not open all the time. So they need to have, you know, a commercial registered agent, someone to actually be their business hours to receive any important, um, you know, tax documents or official legal papers. And so that's, uh, you know, our primary business that we do that for. Um, we're a low cost provider. We charge only $99 a year to be the registered agent. And, um, but, and that's, um, but it, as part of that, we also form entities. So, um, we, for $79, we'll form your LLC or corporation, whether we're the registered agent or not. And um, many times people are doing business in three or four states. It's not just one state. So if you're uh, doing business in multiple states, but you don't really have a physical office in that state, then we provide that required registered agent office and we arrange that again for $99 a year. So that's, oh. that's the gist of what we do. In a nutshell. Okay. With COVID, a lot of people, businesses have people working from home. Um, and when the employees live in different states, or does that now require the business to register in those various states to do business? Yeah, oftentimes, uh, you know, the states will go, uh, you know, what constitutes the doing business sometimes varies per state. If you ask the state, they want your money, they'll say, oh, yeah, it's definitely. I mean, there is interstate commerce around that you can do business in multiple states. But um, for a general rule, um, again, I'm not a lawyer. I don't want to give you legal or, or tax advice. Um, we really just form the entity and register if you want. But, but from what I've seen, um, if you're transacting business, so if you're taking funds, if you're consulting, meeting people within a state, um, a lot of times the state will say, oh, you're doing business in that state. Um, you should be registered to do business. So if something were to happen, you're driving around or transacting business and something would arise that uh, there would be a, a lawsuit against your company, um, you want to be protected and have it registered. Um, yeah. Okay. So we do have a lot of people that have, I, I, to your point, I think, uh, Bill, when we met at one of the seminars, you were saying that you've gotten a lot of inquiries about that because, uh, you know, as you branch out and you say, oh, well, now instead of having everybody at a home office, we'll let people work from home. But then you're creating many different offices and, and then actually maybe doing business in more states or you have the ability to do business in other states. Um, right. A reason you know, to maybe register to do business and be official in that state. And uh, it protects yourself as well. Like it gives you right as a company um, to do contracts and be protected under those laws of that state. It's not only for the pair of people you're doing business with to sue you, it's also for you to be able to sue and have other rights to, if there's if there's ever disputes or things in that state. Okay. I also understand that you're not supposed to, like if you are crossing a lot state lines and you're not registered in that state, that you may give up your rights to be able to sue one of your customers for non-payment and things like that because you weren't registered to do business. Do you want to 
explain that a little yeah, bit more? Um, I, my, my one example I've used for years and years is uh, I also sponsor some of these seminars in Pennsylvania and one of my clients in Pennsylvania, um, a CPA had, had their client who build decks, um, you know, so they would, they'd be really in the business of construction and building decks. And somebody said, Hey, can you build this? Uh, you know, they're out of Pennsylvania. Can you build our deck on the Jersey shore? And this person went down there, build the deck and the, the homeowner or the, you know, from the Jersey shore said, well, you're not even registered business. I'm not paying you. And they really didn't have any legal ground to stand on to, to get collect, to collect their money for doing their work. So uh -huh. I mean, there is some, some some examples like that that you know to be officially doing business in a state you want to be registered and some cases you even need to get a business license and things or you're really not in compliance. Okay. Yeah. Now, if uh, if you're getting a business license, let's just will you stay with the New Jersey? Um, do you act as the the person and give them the address that they need in order to do business in New Jersey? We don't. I mean, we, uh, again, will provide the registered agent and register them to do business in the state. But as far as uh, getting specific industry business license, there are other online companies that and, and we can refer them over. Uh, OK. Good about referring, you know, you probably should do this. Here's a contact. A lot of times you can do it yourself or online. Uh, but the biggest part, the first step is registering to do business in the state and having a, the required registered agent office in that state. And that's kind of where we come into play. Okay. And when you do the formation of the entity, you would put together uh, like the articles of incorporation, the bylaws, the minutes, uh, the stock certificates, that kind of stuff. And I guess you give it to them in a binder yeah, uh, so we're not we're not one of these companies that oh five hundred dollars one price fits all. We we're kind of a low cost provider. Some people are forming multiple LLCs and don't need an operating agreement for every one. They kind of use the same one. Um, we in our general service will prepare and file on your behalf on any of your clients' behalf for seventy nine dollars if they are do a lot of them and have their own template or want to write up their own um, incorporation or LLC. A formation documents, then we charge less for $79 and then the state fee. And then once it's formed, um, we sell a, uh, an LLC or corporate kit. And what that kit has is like your membership certificates or um, the bylaws or operating agreement. And many times you need that to open a bank account. They want to see the actual operating agreement, um, an EIN number, which, um, you know, we can if asked to do that as well. But that's kind of the, the main thing is uh, prepare and file and, and provide the registered agent um, agent address. Okay. Yeah. And you said the annual fee for resident agent is $99 a year? That's right. Uh, $99 in any state. Uh, and we actually are doing Puerto Rico now as well. Okay. So you have a, a res resident agent location? in every state in the United States. That's right. We arrange that. All the billing and the paperwork comes through our office. Um, I'm out of Delaware, close by, but um, right. we uh, actually have arrangements for every state that we handle and, and can have a physical office for anybody's uh, company. Okay, very good. Um, is there anything else that we should be aware of when we're referring uh, resident agents to our clients? Yeah, um, no, yeah. I appreciate that. Now we uh, do, we're pretty flexible. We'll, um, some of my clients um, from the <laughs> seminars will feel like some of their clients need their hand held and they will get the EIN form and then on their behalf, get the documents for us. We'll prepare it and send the bill to the accountant CPA and then they can get the EIN and add extra services and charge. Um, some of my clients don't want to have anything to do with it. Say, hey, look, call these guys. They're local, they'll answer the phone, you know, you get to know uh, my staff and they can come up and, uh, and form it. And then if, once it's all done, I want you to form an LLC or this and come back and see me. So we have it work both ways. If you feel your clients um, are pretty good on their own, you know, please just refer them to us and we'll take care of them at the lowest price. If you want us to go through through you and and uh, and take, it up, take care of our end and you add extra services that you can, um, and, and prevent that better for the client, we'll have to do it either way. Okay, very good. Um, is there any downside to using a resident 
resident agent corporation, like uh, registered, res registered agents, or should we have uh, encourage our clients to have their own person in the state? Yeah, I mean, we have liability protection. Um, there are downsides if, if, if it's just somebody's address and let's say they move. I mean, we're always keeping our addresses up to date and, and being able to be in contact. You don't want to have uh, documents left and served at a, at a vacant location or somebody's moved. Um, we also will check and make sure they're actually serving the right entity. Let's say they, they try to serve uh, a document, but they misspelled the company name or they get it confused with another name. We're, we're verifying that the, it's the actual correct entity before we accept it and then send it out. So, uh -huh. um, you know, there's, there is some, some good things about that. You, some people forget about the registered agent stuff. And like I said, they might move or uh, need an update address. And that's an extra filing with the state that you're doing and an extra headache. So it kind right. of just leaves, leaves that out of it. Uh, but many people will be their own if they have a established headquarters and then really use us when they're doing business in, in the other states. Let's say their home state, but they're doing business in two or three or four more states, um, then they, they really rely on us. But we'd be happy to, uh, to take care of it and have you not think about it and just use us. And hopefully it's a valuable service for our $99. Yes, it is. Um, I know I have uh, worked uh, with, with you all and with one of my clients and uh, it's been a very smooth, seamless transaction all the way through. And, um, you know, we never had any issues or anything else. So that's always a positive thing. So, um, you know, I would recommend your services to anybody. And um, I think that, uh, you know, Michael's always around at the seminars and things like that. So if you have questions about anything, you can always feel free to stop by his booth and talk to him. Exactly. Um, I appreciate that. And a lot of my clients are attending the seminar. So a lot of times, you know, if you're out there, you can say, hey, have you used these guys? And so a lot of people have gotten some good feedback. So hopefully get some good referrals from other, right. other people who have attended. So um, glad to keep doing it. I you know, I think it's a great organization and I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be able to support it and, uh, and be partners. With you guys. So. Well, sounds good. Thank you very much for joining us today. Yep. And um, we'll be seeing you in another sem upcoming seminar. Sounds good. So and a lot care. more in the fall. So yeah, exactly. forward to that. Great. Thanks, Bill. All right. Thanks, Bye. Everybody. Have a good day. Yeah, you too.